Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got a ton of stuff to go over. Pokemon news, Pokemon leaks, a lot of stuff to break down. Really exciting things to take a look at. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the latest leaks for the Generation 9 DLC. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's go over some Pokemon news real quick. The next 7-star raid has been announced. And look, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I called this. If you've been in my live streams since the Greninja raid was announced, I've been saying the next one is going to be a Flying-type Terra Decidueye. And straight on the money, it is a Flying-type Terra Decidueye. I wasn't expecting this to get announced this quickly, though, because we still have the Walking Wake and the Iron Leaves event going on. So I was expecting this to get announced uh, this Sunday coming up, because that's when uh, the Paradox Pokemon event ends. But got announced randomly last night, um, which, you know, fair play. At least we know. So yeah, prepare to face a Mighty Decidueye. So catch a Decidueye with the Mightiest Mark. Decidueye with the Mightiest Mark will be appearing in Black Crystal Terror Raid Battles from Friday, the 17th of March, 2023 at midnight UTC to Sunday, the March the 19th, 2023 at 2359 UTC. Then again from Friday, March the 24th, um, 2023 at 12 o'clock UTC to Sunday, March 26th. So yeah, there's no like gap in between. It's just literally one weekend on the 17th and then seven days later, it's again. So yeah, there's usually like a gap in between, which is a different terror raid. So yeah, terror raids are kind of all over the place right now. Um, but either way, we have got our next seven star. So yeah, Decidueye cannot be encountered in Paldea. Uh, and the Decidueye appearing during this event has flying as its terror type, making it a forbidden foe. It even has the mightiest mark to prove it. Work together with your friends, yada, yada, yada. So uh, yeah, flying type Decidueye um, on the 17th of March. So we've got Light here saying, you know, probably one of the best options for it is actually Maraiden with a Shell Bell ability, uh, the Hadron engine obviously terror type electric 252 hp and special attack modest nature electro drift taunt metal sound electric terrain marida may be the best candidate to beat decidueye the grass and flying attacks will do uh, half damage it does not have any attack that can be super effective against marida with taunt decidueye will not be able to use nasty plot grassy terrain roost or double team shell bell to recover our life if we are low and then the strategy is just use Taunt first. We put three Metal Sounds and spam Electro Drift. In this case, that it makes the Grassy Terrain when entering combat, use Electric Terrain. So, yeah, um, this could actually be a really, really good option um, for Decidueye. Of course, this is just pre-kind of... Um ideas and stuff like we will know what attacks it's got and everything uh when it does drop um straight away but um as of right now it does seem like quite a good uh tactic of course if you're in scarlet you probably won't have a maraiden and so you may have to bring something else but with violet users you do have something pretty good here um already you just need to make it competitively ready and you should be good for decidueye barring any strange moves that it will have but of course it doesn't learn anything that is good against maraiden unless it gets a new move in this game which is very very unlikely so that's the latest pokemon news uh just very happy Happy that I called that right. I don't know. I was just, I was just expecting it to be flying type of Sigil. I don't even know why. But either way, let's move on to the new Pokemon leak. So we got some massive stuff to go over and also um, some interesting stuff regarding the third legendary, in my opinion as well, uh, that I do want to cover. But Riddler Koo has basically just dropped a bombshell of news about the latest leak that did um, go live uh, not too long ago. So this is the one that we're talking about. That person that basically got everything right for the Pokemon Presents and then came back and said that we're going to be like, um, terraforms for Pokemon. Uh, there's going to be like a new Switch model and stuff like that. And Riddler Koo has basically come out and kind of given his two cents on it all. So this was the original tweet that he posted saying one of them is different, which which we had Mega Evolutions, Z moves, uh, Gigantamaxing, and Dy uh, Dy Dynamaxing, and then Terrestrialization. And then uh, he said it's to do with the DLC and stuff like that. And then he went on to say, since you were all spoiled with this, yep. Mega Pokemon is the only one that is exclusive to a limited amount of Pokemon, while others got both public and privilege um, on Pokemon selection. So yeah, he's not here saying that Mega Evolution's back. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that Mega Evolution out of these four would the only one uh, or it's the only kind of um, feature that certain Pokemon got. And that is going to be the situation in the DLC. So there are going to be new Terraforms for Pokemon in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. Again, we don't know if it's going to be in the Teal Mask or the Indigo Disc, but a certain amount of Pokemon are going to get new Terraforms. Now, I don't know what that entails. I don't know if that means that they're going to have like a dual type Terra Hat or, or whatever, or they just stay that Terra type for out of battle. Like, I'm not really sure, but there are going to be new Terraforms of Pokemon. 
Um, but of course, he's dropped a lot more information as well. So uh, this person here, Kevin, said, so should I start saving money for the Switch, Mr. Q? And then he said, we never confirmed other stuff. So all that he's confirming here is this bit, which says um, the Hex Gun is not the third DLC title, but an element that is displayed many times in the DLC. The special terrestrial appearance I mentioned is a new game mechanic that was not announced in the promotional video. Some Pokemon will acquire new terrestrial forms. That is the only thing that Riddler Koo is confirming here. He's not confirming anything else about like uh, a new Switch or um, anything like that about other parts of the DLC, other aspects of the DLC. He's only confirming the new terraforms here. Um, so yeah, th this leak, even though it did get a lot of correct stuff right, you know, Riddler Koo isn't saying the switches like he probably just doesn't know about the new switch um but either way we then have um this person here nemo saying i hope it's a decent amount of new terraforms i'm also hoping the paldea friends are in the dlc and riddler Koo says decent so there is a decent amount of new terraforms in pokemon scarlet and violet's dlc i'm gonna guess is probably like 15 20 maybe um you know that, that's kind of the uh the amount of like mega evolutions we, we roughly got um so yeah, I think uh, around 15 to 20 in one game. And maybe we get like 10 in the first DLC pack and then another 10 in the second. Could definitely see something like that happening. But yeah, we are getting a decent amount of Terraforms um, in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. And then does a Pokemon with a special terrestrial appearance need to have a specific Terra type? It should go like this. So in order to get a special Terraform on a Pokemon, it has to have a specific Terra type. So let's just say Charizard, for example. Um, if a starter Pokemon is going to get a Terraform, it's probably going to be Charizard. So let's say that um, if you have a terrestrializing Charizard that is water type, maybe that can't become a Terraform. But if you have a fire type, terrestrializing Charizard, maybe that can become the new Terraform. So it has to have a specific Terra type to become this new Terraform. So um, that's also quite interesting as well. I don't know if it's going to give like three times stab or something. It, it could probably go like that. Um, and then also, remember when people thought it was because Mega wasn't uh, caused by legendary Pokemon? Good times. The real answer is that Terra has exclusive Pokemon forms in the DLC. This is also explained to you, by the way. And then he also goes, uh, we've got Colby here saying, so are you confirming this leak as real? So does that mean we're getting a second batch of DLC and a Switch 2 is coming? Focus on what we gave. So he's telling us uh, to like focus on what he said, and that is about the uh, the Terraforms. And then also, um, your boy Shulk here talking about how um, Central Leaks is kind of passing off misinformation and Riddler Koo's here saying, not a surprise at all. Get used to that. So this is basically what Centro is saying. Uh, so Koo, the well-known Pokemon leaked, uh, leaker, has confirmed this leak is real. Look like the Switch 2 is coming. Riddler Koo never said that. He didn't say anything about the Switch 2. The only thing that he confirmed was the Terraform. So again, it's likely the Switch 2 is coming because, again, if this person got all this stuff correct and then they're also talking about this new Switch model, it's most likely going to be true as well. But, you know, Centro has taken this out of context here he didn't confirm the switch to at all he's just confirmed one aspect about the leak leaks can get things right and wrong in the past i think when we got that sword and shield leak you know he got names of pokemon wrong and stuff um a, a couple of pokemon or whatever but again the majority of it was still correct that could easily be the situation here and then we also have central leak saying a decent amount of pokemon will get special terra forms it appears that pokemon need to be a specific terra type to get the new form so why do I think this relates to the third legendary? I think it's very obvious that, well, not very obvious, but very likely that the third legendary is going to be getting a third uh, or like a new Terraform or the, uh, like a different form or something. The Terrapagos, from what we've seen from the artwork, it's got all the typings on its back. So it's probably going to, in my opinion, it's probably going to have an ability that is like a better version of Protein where it can just go through each Terra type uh, as it chooses and then use those attacks. So whatever it, whenever it wants to go to a different like move, like let's say it has Dragon Claw and Psychic, when it goes from Dragon Claw and then terrestrializes into a Dragon type, obviously it's going to get extra stab, and then it could do Psychic and get extra stab from Psychic. So I think something like that is going to happen. But as well as that, I think it's also going to have one of these Terraforms. You got to remember that Terrapagos is the creator of terrestrialization. It is the reason behind it. So if anything's going to get a Terraform, it's probably going to be the third legendary Pokemon, and uh, maybe that is one of the hidden secrets of Area Zero, these Terraforms, and maybe the third Legendary has something um, to do with that. So I think the third Legendary, you know, whether its new form is going to be able to switch between all Terraforms or like terrestrializing types or its original form can do that, who knows? But I, because it, it looks too cute, you know, Ter Terrapagos looks super cute to be a third Legendary, you know, it doesn't give off these evil vibes or anything that a lot of people are expecting um, that usually happens with third Legendaries, um, like uh, Eternatus and stuff like that and Necrozma, but 
yeah, I think that um, it's definitely going to have something to do with the third legendary, and that um, that is definitely going to have a terraform. Potentially, Koraiden and Moraiden get one as well. Um, maybe again, the starters do. I, I could definitely see one starter Pokemon get. I, I could see Charizard getting one. Honestly, I really could. Um, Mewtwo is obviously going to be back in the game through Pokemon Home, so potentially he gets one. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But there's a decent amount of terraforms, and uh, yeah, I think it's definitely going to have something to do with the third legendary, and that's definitely going to get a terraform. But uh, either way, we'll have to wait and see. A lot of new info drops though from Riddler Coup and uh, yeah confirming a lot of stuff now so yeah new terraforms are something we definitely uh, know is coming and that's something we can look forward to hopefully we get more information about that soon hopefully we get some gameplay about the the DLC as well I really want Riddler Coup to come out and give us like a like estimated release dates because it's all over the place like when these are actually estimated to come out because um, in the uh, in the actual um, trailer, it said it was coming fall 2023 and winter 2023. However, on the eShop, it says winter 2023, and then it says early 2024. You know, this uh, leak here is talking about how there's DLC in 2024. I don't know if that's going to be the Indigo Disc or different DLC completely. And you've also got to remember that when we got the Isle of Armor in the Crown Tundra trailer, we got the announcement for the Isle of Armor being on like June whenever we got that actual date. But then with uh, the Crown Tundra, it said uh, winter 20 whatever 2020 um, or 2019 I can't remember when it came out however though it actually came out in October which is two months before winter so I, they're obviously placeholders at the moment but there's loads of different placeholders it's not like they're all saying the same thing they're all saying different things so I honestly don't know when this DLC is coming out so hopefully we get some more information about it soon I don't think we will um, I think the next bit of Pokemon news we're going to get is probably going to be on GBA ports and Stadium 1 and 2 being on Nintendo Switch Online um, and all that stuff and maybe the Mystery Dungeon game that we got copyrighted but Either way, uh, that's all the information for today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered. What do you think is... Um, uh, what are your thoughts on the new Terraforms? Which Pokemon would you like to see get a Terraform? Uh, let me know your thoughts on all that. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.